Hello my fellow nerds of the internet, I am Victorious and welcome to another Death Battle reaction today where we reacted to Black Widow versus Widowmaker. Now, uh, I have played Overwatch, I, I don't play it anymore, but uh, I'm familiar with Widowmaker, an incredibly powerful sniper, uh, she's very good with stealth, actually, in a sense, she's very similar to Black Widow. I don't know her story arc, because I don't really go into the arc of Overwatch, it never really interested me. But she's like also supposed to become some kind of espionage spy, much like Black Widow is. Uh, her sniper driver is also a machine gun. She got a grappling hook, pretty good. She she can see through uh, walls with her with her ultimate. So um, and Black Widow is, I think is kind of mostly perfect. So at the moment I'm gonna have to say Black Widow, but we'll we'll see where this goes. So uh, let's do it. Some people are born to be heroes or villains, but many are thrust upon these roles with very little regard and must simply make the best of their new stressful life. Like Black Widow, the covert enemy turned ally of the Avengers. And Widowmaker, the deadly but unwitting adversary of Overwatch. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Natalia Romanov, more commonly known as the anglicized Natasha Romanov, is one of the more curious members of the legendary Avengers. Yeah, unlike most of them, she doesn't have any ridiculous superpowers, and she even started out as a bad guy. Like many secret agents, Natasha's past is a mystery. One account She's claims 91? she was raised by a soldier named Jesus. Ivan Petrovich who taught her the art of body combat. Of His teachings were so affluent that Natasha was kidnapped by an order of assassins known as the Hand, intending to train her as oh, their Electra master assassin. For that. Luckily, Wolverine and Captain Boy Scout rescued her, but she eventually put her talents to use working for the KGB and becoming a famous ballerina. However, the most likely story was that Petrovich admitted a young Natasha to a secret Soviet program called the Black Widow Ops. There, in the infamous Red Room, Natasha was trained to be the deadliest spy in the world. She learned all sorts of stealth, assassination, and martial arts techniques, including the newly invented Sambo style, which is basically like street fighting judo mixed with the craziest grappling moves ever. Like, how does she even do that? That's uh, pretty Russians awesome. magic. She learned dozens of other martial arts, including karate, Muay Thai, Aikido, and Kung Fu. And she's mastered all sorts of weaponry, becoming an expert marksman. Damn, sign me up for the spider ups. Don't get the wrong idea. The Red Room was brutal. Natasha was brainwashed, literally programmed with false memories, which included her days as a ballerina. She was even forced to duel other members to the death. Crazy to think about considering how much went into each one's training, but all the more to transform her into the ultimate Stone Cold Spy, codenamed Black Widow. God damn. Yeah, sometimes that's what you gotta do if you wanna be a winner. When I was a kid, Mama Boomstick trained oh, me and some friends to eat over 60 hot dogs in 10 so minutes. Much. I was the only one who survived. That's... wow. Hey, Stanley. You should see it coming out. <laughs> Well, while Natasha was plenty deadly on her own, she got one more gift from the Red Room. A super soldier serum! Because at the time, everyone and their dog was trying to make the next Captain America. But she wound up with the knockoff dollar store version, because the Nazis decided to kill the only person in the world who knew how to make it. Seriously, what was this guy thinking? Even still, she received some impressive benefits, including a beyond Olympic level physique, inhuman resistance to poison and disease, and slowed aging. So she gets to keep her yeah. good looks for over a century. And run up to 35 miles oh, an hour. God, yeah, that's, that's pretty good too. As the Black Widow, Natasha quickly proved her dominance over her peers, soon becoming the KGB's top operative. Taking on the most perilous of missions, it wasn't long until she found herself face to face with an adversary who proved her match, Iron Man. Hey, when it takes a super suit with enough munition to wipe out a whole city to stop you, you know you're pretty good at what you do. To destroy Iron Man and his team of Avengers, Black Widow recruited Hawkeye and attempted to sway him to the dark side. But to her surprise, the exact opposite happened. Yeah, it turns out Hawkeye is so goddamn handsome that he literally love-struck the brainwashing out of her. And so, Black Widow betrayed her country and became an ally of the Avengers. And while keeping up with the likes of Iron Man and Thor is no easy feat, 
she held her own not just with her amazing talents, but also her plethora of gear and gadgets. Where does she keep them all in that bodysuit? It's like super tight. I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything, but the logistics are baffling. Well, not only is her suit composed of an abnormally durable Kevlar, she has several gadgets hidden within her gauntlets. The Widow's Line is a retractable grappling hook He's that got lets the her swing right like Spider-Man. <laughs> Cartridges of tear gas pellets and explosives serve obvious purposes. And then there's the Widow's Bite. What, like a spider bite? How's that supposed to... <laughs> Very nice. Wow, that was pretty shocking, Wiz. <laughs> no, he shattered his your glasses, idiot. He shattered his glasses. Know, know, see this coming Even that. without the KGB, Black Widow remains one of the top oh, assassins in the Widow's world. Kiss, She's so skilled with a sniper drug. rifle, she could cut Hawkeye's bowstring while he's in mid shot, Ooh. forcing him to miss his target. Damn. To put this in perspective, the average thickness of compound bowstring is about one hundredth of an inch thick. That's as thin as a fingernail. And she made this shot from hundreds of feet away. She's quick enough to easily dodge point-blank gunfire, skilled enough to defeat 100 men by herself, and strong enough to snap a guy's neck with just one kick. Pretty impressive, Ooh. as it takes around 600 pounds of force to break the human neck. She's so goddamn tough, she's taken a grenade to the face from a few feet away, and she was fine. She fell four stories through a mountain sign into a car, and she was fine. So much for that super serum being dollar store By junk, right? Explosion. Well, this durability extends Broken beyond man. physical <laughs> toughness. After all, she doesn't exactly have bulletproof skin or anything like that. Rather, she possesses a staggeringly a strong drive to Ooh. survive, Same. no matter what. Yeah, like the time when she had to go through intensive surgery while she was still conscious. Just imagine, she felt every cut every pull, Ooh. every movement as the surgeon sliced open her stomach and sewed up her insides. Ugh. Despite the incredible pain throughout this entire ordeal, which likely lasted several hours, for her own sake, she could not move a muscle. I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, that reminds me of my vasectomy. Both of them. <laughs> but nice. even alongside the Avengers, Natasha maintains a gray sense of morality. Her path to redemption has been a rocky one, as her personal quest to destroy the Red Room has left a trail of bodies in its oh. wake. This is one redhead you don't want to mess with. <laughs> While right. the stories of many world-class assassins often carry a truckload of baggage, few are quite as heartbreaking as the case of Amelie Lacroix. That's even more true than you think, but we'll get there. Growing up, Amelie never French. aspired or trained for combat. In fact, she devoted oh, much of her life to becoming a world-renowned ballerina in Paris, France. Nice. Now, I've noticed it's almost a requirement for all badass assassins to be ballerinas or something. <laughs> so uh, I started working on a few moves myself. What? Wait, hold on! Doc! Amelie's what? husband, Why was he however, holding was a like key figure for position. Overwatch, a global peacekeeping organization spearheading operations against a terrorist yeah, group called fun, Talon. I mean, I kind Talon of tried it over and over time, to kill this guy, but they just game. couldn't pull it off. So instead, they kidnapped Amelie. Damn, not cool. Thankfully, Overwatch quickly rescued her, and huh. life returned to normal. Or did it? Nope, because out of nowhere, Amelie killed her hubby in his sleep. Turns out, the kidnapping wasn't just a simple ransom or attempted lure. Talon ruthlessly subjected Amelie to intense neurological reconditioning, molding her into the perfect brainwashed sleeper agent. Oh. Right, because she was sleeping next to him in their bed, and then BAM! First oh. kill! Sleeper <laughs> agent! Right, sure. She returned to Talon to complete their psychological and physiological reconfiguration process. When all was said and done, Amelie Lacroix was no more. In her place stood the cold-hearted assassin known as Widowmaker. Oh my yeah, god, actually, I get why she's called yeah, Widowmaker. Though it is kind of weird that the widow she was making was her. Brilliant deduction, Boopstick. Widowmaker embodies the cold-hearted killer trope so well, it's actually literal. Talon's experiment slowed her heart rate and suppressed her emotions, oh. turning her into an actual cold-blooded killing machine, hence the cold blue skin. That's not wow. really a thing, is it? Turning your skin blue like That's that? That's actually kind of cool. Oh, I just figured she was the girl smurf all grown up. I, I mean, be to be girl. honest, I figured she was some kind of alien. Easy way I didn't to think, turn your I skin didn't think blue. she was human. You just need to drink some colloidal silver. Uh, is it safe? Oh, yeah, sure, no doubt. It's 100% non-toxic silver. Okay, silver. bottoms up. 
Yes. Anyway, the blue makeover wasn't just for show. With her heart rate down, her body's movements and vibrations are highly reduced. The blood pulsing through your hands can actually bump up your shot. It's not by a lot, but when you're aiming at something a thousand yards away, even a tiny bit of movement matters. Seriously? This might not sound too difficult your heart. until you consider that a typical human heart rate in a stressful situation can exceed 100 beats per minute. A perfect sniper has to time their shots between almost two beats per second. I mean, I guess that second. makes sense why they're So even though she started to, pretty to, late, Widowmaker skipped years of killing people, school, with just this one little tweet. Talon's manifesto is that humanity is made stronger through conflict. And so Widowmaker was taught a variety of different combat and covert techniques to be ready for any violent possibilities. She's ridiculously athletic. Just look at her go. And she's got plenty of handy tools to help her kill people even faster. She carries a grappling hook with a 65-foot cable, perfect for getting around any terrain in an instant. Her venom mines stick to most surfaces, and after being triggered by movement, release a deadly toxin and give her a ping in her funny-looking spider helmet. That's Widowmaker's recon visor, basically multi-screen super goggles. They provide infrared sight that spots heat signatures through walls and transmits multiple feeds. Then there's her signature weapon, the one, the only, Widow's Kiss. It may look like an oversized SMG, but with a click of a button, it turns into a badass sniper rifle. As a sniper, this baby can she, fire she at four make different the levels of power. Noise. A fully charged shot hits <laughs> ten times stronger than a standard one, making the Widow's Kiss one of the deadliest rifles in the world. Unless you're wearing some really heavy armor, it'll kill pretty much anyone with just one shot. Wiz, build me one now. Yeah, with your luck, your hand will probably get stuck in one of the moving parts, and I'll have to be the one to amputate it and build you a mechanical replacement. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. You don't know that, stupid whiz. When the James Widowmaker Franco is one of Talon's top stuck. agents and has the feats to prove it. She's taken on Overwatch members multiple times, effortlessly defeating some of their own top Kept agents, with like fellow Tracy's sniper voice. Anna Amari, so whose cybernetic eye can see six times greater than a normal one. And she pulls this off while achieving ulterior goals, such as when she baited Tracer into unknowingly allowing her to assassinate a diplomat. That's some intense on-the-fly multitasking. And she's way tougher than she looks. Her visor can protect her from a sniper shot to the face. And she even took a hit from Doomfist's gauntlet. This thing can take down a skyscraper. But she was fine. While it wasn't wielded by Doomfist himself at the time, it clearly struck with some serious power. An average skyscraper ranges between 250 to 300 feet tall. To topple it in one go, you'd need a force equivalent to at least two tons of TNT. Hmm. You sure Talon didn't slip her some super serum and a drink or anything? Cause that's ridiculous. Also, while ranged combat may be her forte, Widowmaker is skilled enough to take out an entire armed security force up close while avoiding their gunfire. The blue bombshell can do it all. Kinda sucks that Talon drained her of all emotion, cause now she can't appreciate how badass she is. Kinda like how I sometimes forget I have a shotgun for a leg. Until it- ah! <laughs> God, I hate when that happens. Talon's experiments may have yielded astounding results, but I'm not sure they were quite so thorough. In fact, every Christmas, a certain blue-skinned woman can be found leaving a rose at her late husband's grave. So maybe, Ooh. just maybe, Amelie isn't quite gone for good. Hmm. A single death can change everything. <laughs> all huh. right, the combatants are set now. and run the data through trickier. all possibilities. But first, the internet is a complicated beast. I mean, oh. Just think about how often you use public online network. Um, I mean, freaking Black Widow. Yeah, her, yeah, her senses are heightened incredibly, and and she could, and she also has near a perfect aim because of her slowed heart rate. But Black Widow then has like a bit of a sort of super soldier serum, sort of not not the same as Captain America's, but still a good. And I think she, they didn't express if she was good with with like weaponry, Black Widow. But we all seen her do great things with weapons, so I don't think we've ever seen Widowmaker do anything that's not her generic rifle. So I'm still gonna have to place my vote in on on Black Widow. I think even though like Widowmaker's got the infrared sight. And shit and the the venom mines and the grappling hook i think black widow is just a lot smarter in terms of, of espionage spy shit than than widowmaker is i think she's better so here we go let's give this a shot oh. 
Oh shit, it's a 3D fight. Awesome. Hell yeah. Oh, this is gonna be cool. <laughs> nice. suit she's wearing there. I don't see the word that before. Oh, she's hired to protect this guy. Oh! He had one fucking job. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! What a kick-ass sniper fight! Finished. Rendezvous immediately. Uh -oh. Don't move. Oh god, the taxi driver. Damn, we're gonna drive while shooting. Sick. Oh, oh boy. Whoa. Really well animated, this one. Really gotta appreciate this one. Trying to escape me. No chance. Uh oh. Uh oh, you gotta blow up the ship. Oh, she's gonna crash the freaking motorcycle into it. Oh damn! Oh. Damn. Whoa, oh, 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 God. Oh, damn. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> it's gonna run into the building. <laughs> oh, my God. I gotta say, even though Widowmaker can see her, she's still. Uh oh, that venom mine right there. Yeah. But she's immune to poison. What makes you think you can sneak up on me? Black Widow's immune to poison. I'm a goddamn Avenger. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, here we go. Oops. Oh, whoa, grapple. What? Oh. oh, damn. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, the garrote wire. <laughs> I can't survive anything. Nice theory. Let's test it. Oh, ho, ho, ho! yes. <laughs> das Vidania. That was fucking cool. Hell yeah, for Black Widow. Damn. Which one was the cold-hearted chick again? Given her history, Natasha obviously brought a lot more combat experience to the battle than yeah. Widowmaker. Even still, this was far from one-sided. Widowmaker's arsenal in particular made it difficult for Natasha to outgun her in ranged combat. Except for the Venom Mine, given her enhanced immune system. But mm. once Widowmaker was disarmed, something which seems to happen a lot, Even Natasha so, Widowmaker got the upper hand. Target for like, a limited time literally, she's me. way better at hand to hand. That's a no brainer just based on how many martial arts she knows, her super serum boost, and how many people she's had to judo to death. Yeah, they both say. could dodge bullets well, and were expert shots, but Widowmaker has never shown capabilities equal to Natasha breaking a neck in one strike, running 35 miles per hour, or shooting a moving bowstring. They were pretty evenly matched when it came to taking hits, though. Natasha took a grenade to the face while Widowmaker got hit by Doomfist Gauntlet. 
Yes, but while the gauntlet can take down a skyscraper, even in Doomfist's own hands, it certainly doesn't seem capable of doing so with only one hit, much less in the hands of a skinny teenager. Hell, Doomfist escaped prison by punching through a concrete wall with his bare fists. I don't think Hoodie hmm. Kid's gonna pull that off. Just a hunch. Widowmaker certainly had her moments, but she just couldn't match Natasha's greater speed, precision, oh, and decades of experience. So sick, they sick. just couldn't find oh, that widow of opportunity. Why the fuck is he blue? The winner <laughs> is Black Just so we noticed that. Okay, I don't know. I guess he hey, thanks for watching this shit. episode of Death Battle. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can get it by clicking on oh, the gonna Or be? you can click over there and check Making out one of the other videos. We need, well, oh, I haven't done this. I wish we just had a video game character. Captain Marvel again? Oh, versus Shazam. What? Oh, well, I mean, it makes sense given the, uh, the film that's coming around. I mean that could be that could be cool. I don't I don't know anything about Shazam. I did see Captain Marvel, so that that movie was awesome, and I know a fair amount about Captain Marvel anyway. So that'll be a cool fight. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.